There is a fierce debate in the chat. Rev I I actually do feel like I've heard before that it's based off of a book. No, they're going for this castle. They don't care about my other one. Which is fine. I guess I'll... No more baby steps. We're going to charge in there like men and fight them like men. By that, I mean I'm going to park Alec on this tree. <laughs> and create a line of insurmountable units that they will be forced to fight. A lot of my units need healing right now. Dream the beginning of Gaiden. <laughs> so, good news on the capture card. I have amassed enough funds to purchase the capture card, or said capture card. But, the seller, or the guy who makes them, is... He's been saying about continuing at the end of the month. So, with luck, we may actually be able to play Shadows of Valentia. I don't know yet. Okay, so it looks like... I don't know, I do want to train Noish. Something about his name makes me want to train him. I know that's kind of weird to say. Just go with it. <laughs> yep, to our stream, still not done with prologue. Dude, the first 30 minutes of the stream were me reading the mechanics. <laughs> I love that, by the way. I'm not opposed to it. Uh, could Midir actually pick this up? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, Midir's a bone height. Oops. <laughs> I was... Oh, I didn't even check Midir's stats. I forgot. I'm sorry. Meh. A cost. If Agile user may continue around the battle. What does Agile mean exactly? Because I know the other one... What is it? It's Adept, I think. Is that the name of the skill? Who had it? Someone had it. Yeah, may strike two times if unit is faster. Huh, I don't exactly know how that works, but... Or what the difference is. I feel like Adept works more like a normal double attack, and then the other one works like something else. Oh no, Noish. Taking too much damage, son. I'm honestly surprised we haven't lost anyone yet with this gung-ho weird way I'm playing. Actually, I'm playing pretty safe. I just... It's so hard to tell competency of this u or your units in this game because you have to calculate everything manually. But on the bright side, that means all your units are a bit stronger, so you can throw them around a bit more. We are almost done with this chapter. <laughs> Good thing they just charge after you blindly. Whew. So, maybe we'll get through chapter two tonight. I'm not sure. But after we finish this chapter, I'll do a little break. I'll still be here during the break, but uh, it'll be like a Q&A type thing. Okay, I like Meteor. I like Bow Knights. I really do. So... Noish, I will heal you.
Uh, I have to have Midir move, because otherwise he can't. All he has is a bow, too. Midir, you're going to have to be on the sidelines right now. It's really offsetting how they display the, um, whatchamacallit, how they display the, ah, oh, damn it, I can't, ooh, what to do here? Alec, what will you do to this guy? You have 15 attack, he has 22 HP. No way. Well, you could. You probably will double him. If he does hit you, though, your defense will save you. So you're a safe bet. I should have kept you on the tree. I forgot you're even standing on one because your entire sprite covers the tree. And you didn't kill him. Okay. <laughs> I'll just move you out of the way. Lex. I'm gonna have Lex block this bridge, maybe? Or maybe I can make them attack Lex? Possibly. Quan. How much health do these guys have left? This guy is four, so. Quan can probably javelin this guy. There we go. <laughs> that javelin arc looks so funny. By the way, when you get Astrid in Radiant Dawn, don't use her. She's really bad, and Oscar's, as Oscar as a Silver Knight is way beefier. Yeah, I know. I could just give Oscar a bow like I did last time. I love that. And I'm so sad that she's so terrible, because you even see me react to her terrible stats in the next episode of Radiant Dawn. Um, which will be up tomorrow morning, by the way. Uh, my reaction was like, oh boy, I heard people say bad things, but I was hoping they were just overreacting. And then I saw them and I was like, uh, maybe they were right. My hopes is that this archer just goes for Noish because Noish can't attack back. I sent Sigurd up there under the pretense that... Oh. Yikes. You're not a tanky one. Luckily, Lex is very tanky, and everyone's safe. Oh, ah, I knew White Witch Nominee was a viewer of mine. Hi there, you're the one that drew the picture on Twitter. Yeah, you'll be seeing it in the next episode. <laughs> People overreacting? That's blasphemy. <laughs> okay. Fire. Doubled. Unheard of in the FE community. Oh, you literally just got notified of the stream, Joseph? I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> Lex, you need this kill. Lex has way too much health to get one-shotted. Or way too much defense, I should say. HP! Yay. Growth emblem. <laughs> I need to try out those animations. I keep forgetting. Oh, well. <laughs> How dare you take our beloved uh, franchise with waifus. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, I did like your drawing. 
But I mean, come on. I how could you honestly say you did not have a Fire Emblem waifu before the point of fates or awakening? <laughs> Can people really say that and not be huge liars? That's the question. That good god, that archer has a lot of HP. I mean, not by this game's standards, apparently, but I keep forgetting you're a bow knight. God damn it. Oh well, he can't move now, which means he can't attack. He is trapped. Um, okay then. Well, we just gotta get everybody all healed up. Does the castle heal people? Let me know in the comments. I don't know if it does or not. You know what, I'll actually have uh, Finn here stop by the castle. Why not? Oh. Blacksmith. Okay, Blacksmith does repair things. I didn't mean to have you fix that, but sure. Cool. Romance. Oh, you've yet to find one to capture your heart. Any other mysteries you wish to see revealed? Sigurd captures everyone's hearts, though. Everyone must have a child with Sigurd. There's no excuses in this army. <laughs> uh. Enter. In that case, let's just shove everyone in the castle then. Oh, guard? Oh, guard. Wait. I, I'm just up here with my horse on top of this castle. No big deal. Okay, Sigurd, you can come back now. What an eventful enemy phase. Oh yeah, archers in Gaiden do have 1 to 5 hit rates. Or hit ranges. Uh, I, I believe the damage actually scales with the range. I'm not too sure, but that's what I've heard. Could be true. Could be fake. I don't know. Come on, Noish. It may take several turns, but you will destroy this archer eventually. Woo! Good gross. I like Noish. He hasn't said anything yet, really, but I like him. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like 80% of the player base would be lying if they said that they... What? What? If they said that they, um... Oh, accuracy scales. Okay, that's it. 80% of the fan base would be lying if they didn't just judge people off their appearances first thing. Like, I am already on the Jenny... I'm already on, like, the Jenny fan train. I saw Jenny's redesign, and I was like, Oh, she looks like a sheep. She's a cute... So, I'm waiting to see her. As I said, it's very odd that I like a priest or a healer of any kind. But lately, between, like, I've hit Laura and Jenny where they're, like, physical appearance. I just go, like, yes. Yes, I'm okay with this. <laughs> you trapped the poor archer. Archers don't go anywhere in this army. May does look amazing. They all look so good. I just, I don't know, something about Jenny and the, um, there's another character I really like the redesign of. I don't really know his name, though. He's the guy with the, uh, I think Saber is his name. 
The guy with the eye patch. I mean, of course, eye patch, but still. Yeah, it's mainly the eye patch, but come on. <laughs> Woo, we did it. All right, so. Oh, he actually left some behind to defend him. I'm going to save state here again, mainly because I'm scared of losing save data. Okay, we can leave now. Come on, buddy. Come on, it's okay. It was letting me turn off uh, animations for a character before, but now it's not. Whoa. Didn't you guys know how to turn off uh, animations per character? I saw a menu pop up before, but I can't get it to show up now. <laughs> With the old guide in portraits, everything looks better. Do you guys know how to turn off the animations? I'm going to heal someone while we're waiting, but... Okay, but Ethlyn's gonna have to go to the chapel anyway, because she can't heal herself. Time for heal emblem while we wait. There's actually black people in this fire emblem. It's weird. Maybe I'm just weird like this, but I am... I'm not sure if many of you know, but I am a both African-American and, uh white descent. Not that really matters. Unless, like, that affects your whole watch of the channel, then I'm sorry. But, um, I don't know. I've never looked at a care like, a game and, like, been worried, like, I wish there were more white characters in here. I wish there were more characters of any ethnic color in here. It's never really bothered me. I know there's a huge controversy on, uh, shoot, what was the game? It was The Witcher. Someone was complaining about there being, like, no African-American. I'm. Why would they be African-American? I'm just going to say, like, black instead. I just at, honestly say that. But, um... I don't know. Maybe it's under options? Click the menu button on an empty space. I know, but I just... I feel like I got... Oh, by unit. Duh. I don't know why I thought otherwise. Uh, but now how do I... Well, how do I turn it off per unit? Ah, oh, damn it. I was doing it. Wait, is it? Oh, it's options on the character. I feel so dumb now. I'm an idiot. Is that it? Oh. Okay. I understand. Ethlyn. Okay, so now I can go to options and turn that off. Will that end her turn? I hope not. There we go. Time for the healing. I did see the death note thing. Um... A lot of people are really worried about that, and I don't get it. Uh, it's probably because I don't really care about Death Note all that much. I saw it originally, and back when I saw it, it was a huge spectacle. But nowadays I look back at it, and I'm like, uh, tch, doesn't matter much. Sigurd's face. Sure. 
I don't need to heal absolutely everybody up to full, but... Wow, this really does slow down the gameplay when you want to heal everybody up. <laughs> Level up. Strength. Speed. Everything you need to be an effective healer. Only took 10 minutes. <sighs> okay, staffy staff. Okay, yeah, you're fine. Ah, oh, nice to give my voice a break. I might actually get up and get a drink before I go across this bridge. Probably should have done it a while ago. Who else needs healing? We all appear to be okay now. There's so many mounted units in this game. I mean, I like having so many units. It's cool and unique. It feels like an actual war. Instead of like a small skirmish with lots of teenagers. <laughs> the entire army is standing still. Oh, Noish can crit? Can he? Oh yeah, Noish does have the critical skill. Damn, I'm really impressed with him. Really happy I took a liking to him. Because he appears to do well too. It's mainly just his, no uh, his uh, name though. Really unique. Murmur. What level are you, Sigurd? I think I've leveled you up to 7 through all of your... Yeah, okay, Sigurd. Other people need some XP too. Oh, hey, Quan is down there. I just realized that the, um, the emulator is zoomed in a little bit. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix. Well, it doesn't look too bad, honestly. I'm not cutting off too much on the screen. No, it's fine. It's fine. Hmm. Hmm. What have I watched so far? Um. <laughs> okay, let's get started and actually move now. <laughs> Enough diddle doddling. That was a weird term I just made up. Diddle doddling. Will you attack? You will! Oh, ranged weapon. People are recommending random animes in my chat. I don't think... Whoa. Aw, oh, Sigurd's not close enough to block off the bridge. Noish can, no. <laughs> we'll just have to noish everything until we... I'm a little worried. How many of these guys have... Throwing axes? One. A hand axe and several archers. But from... No, if, if Noish stands right here, he should be pretty okay. You know, I'll just stand him over here and wait. That's what I'm gonna do. And the rest of us can catch up. Sigurd might be able to take out this archer. This silver sword, though. How much... Ooh! That's a fair bit of damage. No, not wait! <laughs> God damn it. I mess everything up. I ruin everything. Come on, Alec. I believe in you.
two and a half hours of prologue. I know, I'm so sorry it's so long. Yeah, the first half hour there was no game, though. I hadn't been playing. Uh, to be fair, it was... It was 30 minutes of... Or 20 minutes of me talking, and about 30 minutes of the game actually started, but you guys just telling me about mechanics. And then it started, so... I'm sure it'll speed up from here. Not the game itself, but my speed of play. Just like Radiant Dawn is. Kind of. <laughs> Come on, Finn, destroy them all. Or even better, Lex. Go, Lex. I just realized how little damage we did to this guy. Ooh, nice dodge, Lexi. It's okay we came to the stream expecting this. <laughs> nice to know this game has a fun reputation. Okay, and... Yeah, close. <laughs> close. At least the game has good music minus this chapter. Yeah, one of the few times I actually went to watch uh, Mangs' streams because I didn't know who Mangs was, so you guys recommended it to me. Like, hey, you should watch him and, like, um... And try to take some ideas from him. And I was like, alright, why not? And then I did. And, uh... There was a notification that played... And it showed a picture of that Avil guy, I think his name was, that just left. And it was playing this really sick song. I don't know the name of the track, though. It was really good. I wish there was a shove mechanic. I miss shove so bad already. <laughs> That's a little silly to say, but I miss it. Shove will live on in our hearts. I don't know. I don't watch Amangs enough to, like, um, judge his content, so I can't say. But, um... Then again, I guess I'm not an FE only channel, so that kind of changes things, as the obvious uh, Edgeworth on the side and near going on right now. Speaking of Edgeworth, if for those of you who are wondering what the next game is, you'll probably be excited if you like Edgeworth, because there's going to be a lot of him in it. Everyone loves Shove. Try the lover slash siblings crit. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I have seen the video I'm a green unit. Uh, it was sent to me in... I think it was sent to me on the Amino. Or Fire Emblem Amino or whatever, which is not a good community. Although they don't appear to mind me posting my LPs there. Unlike Reddit, who finds me to be an absolute cancer. Even if it's only, like, one episode. Seriously, um... The Ace Attorney Reddits? Uh, they... They must get a lot of LP episode spamming, because I wrote like a, um... How long was it? I'd say, like, a five-paragraph analysis and someone asked for a link to my channel, and I put it in there, and th that subreddit just hated me. They were like, how dare you not add anything to this Reddit? How dare you, you filth? And I'm like, guys, the top, like, most of the top posts on this subreddit are just, like, shit posts. <laughs> I mean, it's not even against the Reddit rules, or subreddit rules, I guess I should say. Knight? Oh, he has... Well, who cares if his defense is zero? What's his resist? Oh, he has enough resistance to survive. So. I know I just went on a random rant about Reddit, but, um. Yeah. <laughs> it just bothers me so much 
how... I mean, I understand if someone's like... What was the song I used for the teaser from this game? It's a track from this game, but in a rearrangement. It's uh, one of the chapters for this game. It's called like Shadow and Light or Light and Dark or something. If you just type in FE4, Shadow and Light or Light or Dark and look for the arrangement version, not the original, you'll probably find it there. That guy has too much HP. I don't like that trade. Oh, well, you know what we can do, though? We can do this. And then we can walk over and heal him. Blonde Kitty walks to be a gang star and beats up a man with serious mental condition. Yeah, I honestly... Okay, um... One second, I will return. I need to get a drink. My throat is killing me. So, one second, chat. Enjoy this, uh... How about just for funsies, I show you some of the other overlays, so... For some of you who watch the other LPs... This was from the Shadow Dragon stream. Um... This is from Path of Radiance. This is what the background of Path of Radiance actually looked like. <laughs> It's a secret that only you guys will know. Only you guys. And, um, lastly? Here's Apollo Justice. It's just two artworks slammed on top of each other. And here's the off screen. Here's the webcam screen. For when we're taking a break. But, uh, there you go. There's your Obero. I'll be right back after I parch my throat. Or quench my thirst. Whatever. You don't parch your throat. You, you are parched. God damn it. Anyways, be right back. <laughs> Okay, I am back. I'm surprised at how little my medical issues are bothering me tonight. Um, I'm very thankful that they haven't, because the stream is so much fun. I, I don't think streaming will ever replace YouTube for me. It's like YouTube is a special place in my heart, but streaming will always come very close. Um, and so the reason why I don't Uh, the reason why I don't want to play Fire Emblem 12 is not just because of the graphics, although that plays a big part. It's that there's no pull to that game for me. There's nothing special about it that's like, oh, this is the one with, uh, like, 3D models. Or, oh, this is the one with para-up. Or, oh, this is the one with billions of units on screen. And it has lots of dialogue. FE 1 and 3 are just, like... They're the most str or FE 11 and 12 are the most straight Fire Emblem games ever, minus like the class change system. They really have nothing going for them that I 
care to explore, but I'm glad that some people like them. But anyways, let's continue. Continue the onslaught. As they say in Darkest Dungeon. What? Oh, I guess he didn't need healing. Well, I'll just have Sigurd cover the rest of the bridge, because he's Sigurd and he can do what he wants. Instead of Noish. There you go, Sigurd. I think Quan is the javelin, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. So he can, in fact, just leave everyone right where they are. Without consequence. Honestly, I don't suggest starting Chapter 1 tonight. Why? I can just save mid-chapter if it's that bad. Uh, after we finish this uh, prologue, I'm going to take a break. And by break, I mean, like, it's just going to be a Q&A type thing. You guys can ask whatever questions you want, and I'll answer. I mean, the bad thing about streaming is I, like, I feel like it's going to be kind of jarring for anyone watching in the future. Because I'm just going to be talking about these random topics. And I don't know. Might be a little odd for some people who are watching it later on. Um. Yeah, okay. Just burn them again. Burn to the ground. Have you guys seen that Mega Man boss from the PS2 Mega Man? I forgot the actual name of the boss, but it's horrid. Uh oh. I'm actually kind of worried about this mage now. Well, this archer can't even get over there, so I'm not worried about that. If one of these guys has a hand axe, though, we do have to take them out. No, we're good. Okay. This guy only has 2 HP. There we go. And now, Madir can iron bow this guy a little bit. Oh, Flame High. Is that his name? Flame Heinard? Oh, it's, uh, it's heartwarming. Know how, knowing how many, um, how many people know that guy's name, how many people suffered. Don't buy 12, emulate it. I, um, can you even buy 12? I thought 12 was Japan only. I own a physical copy of 11. Or Shadow Dragon, I guess I should say. Is that 11? Do I have my numbers right? Yeah, I think that's 11. Alec, you're a bit low on health. I'm not going to risk you getting archered to death. Quan, destroy them. Go, Quan. Wait, did they not attack? What happened? Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, so apart from Shadow Dragon, and like, Shadow Dragon's a game I just so far, out of the bit I played, which is like the first six chapters, I just didn't like. Um, I don't know, that's really early to say I don't like it, but... 
Out of the games I played that I do like, Fire Emblem 6 just is at the bottom of that list. Because I think Roy is... I've already said this today. I, I don't need to repeat it, but... Roy is my least favorite lord, and his father does not fall far behind. Hazel doesn't have negative vo a void anymore, yay. I am learning to play this a bit faster now that I understand what's going on. Boop -ba -da -doo. Get everyone across the bridge. The Last Promise? Is that like a knockoff of the Witcher book, The Last Wish? <laughs> <clears throat> the Last Promise. Hmm. Hector for the win, yes. I'm still waiting for that Fire Emblem Lord to show up that's just completely amoral and does things that are just so off of the moral compass. Okay, so let's take a look. Gerard has a hand axe and a steel axe. The stats are nothing to be laughed at. Does he have an ability? I don't understand. Oh, whatever. Sigurd can do it. Actually, he doesn't have the hand axe equipped right now, so... Oh, you have... This counts as two spaces. Oh, whoops. Alright. Well, that solves that. <laughs> Go, Sigurd. Use that silver sword you just gained. Go to hell, you Grand and Vale dogs. <laughs> Yikes! Sigurd! Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can do that. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Sigurd has the speed ring. Cool. Come on, Quan. Can you... How much can you do. So he has 100 hit and will do 32 damage, but 10 defense, so 18. Or sorry, not 18, 22. An idiot. Um, yeah, okay. I do love Sigurd. I love Sigurd quite a bit. Something about his design, I just can't I, I can't wait to see what his personality type actually is. From his design, you can... I think you can actually kind of guess. Noish, where are you? Noish. Where did I leave you? Noish. Noish, I want you to finish this. Can you, though? He has 6 HP. But if Noish misses, he dies. So let's heal him with... Uh... Excuse me. Ethlin. How does a ring act make you faster? Doesn't it just add weight? Yeah, I mean, that's real-life logic, but not Fire Emblem logic, so... <laughs> there we go. And Slicey Dicey. Aha! Uh -huh, too bad for you! Killing me ain't gonna free your dame! Prince Gandalf's already- Ugh. That's your last words? That's one thing I probably hate about Fire Emblem, is the incredibly unrealistic last words. Some enemies have some really good ones, but usually those are like plot significant super enemies. Alright, Sigurd, let's go. Wait, oh, you're Sigurd. Get out of here, Noish, not right now. <clears throat> Seize.
Sire, we've completed our search of the castle. Lady Idine is, is nowhere to be found. Oh wait, you're a boy. <laughs> Blast, where could she be? She was most likely taken deeper into the Verdane before we arrived. I hope she's alright. God, I won't let them get away with this. They can run, but until they surrender Aideen, they won't escape me. Sigurd must protect Wafu. Oh, who are you two? Yay, I won, finally. Sire, an envoy from His Majesty is seeking an audience with you. Lord Sigurd, your performance in the battle was outstanding. His Majesty is highly pleased and thus has proclaimed your or or ordination as Paladin of the Realm. I hardly deserve such an honor, sir, but I do because I'm bitchin' Sigurd. I pledge my undying fealty to His Majesty. From here, it's imperative that you hold Evans. We can ill afford to lose such a valuable defensive point to the enemy. You and your men shall be handsomely paid for your service. Provided, of course, that our territory survives unscathed. Best of luck, Sigurd. Granville expects every man to do his duty. Okay. Oh, it shows the dates instead of, um... That's neat. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the emulator real quick. Pause. Is it paused? Yeah, it is. Um... Huh, how do I want to do this? Hold on, give me one second. <laughs> Two hours and 20 minutes for a short chapter by this game standards. Good luck com com uh, competing with... Like, completing this within the next few months. <laughs> Who knows, this game could take me a year for how much I choose to stream. And for how little free time I have. That That's the turn count, not the date. <laughs> Oh, that's right. The date is uh, 765. What am I thinking? How could I think that was the date? Duh. <laughs> that's great. That is absolutely great. Hold on. I'm going to try and turn on something real quick. That's not this. Just play some light music in the background. Hopefully it's really light. Oh boy. I like this game, I do. Um, I think I'm just a bit too... I'm a bit too slow at it, and that does bother me a lot, but... At the same time... Well, actually, it's auto-saving every turn, so I could be as reckless as I want to now that I think about it. So I will be more reckless. <laughs> I'm getting mixed feelings about the Ana and the just relax in the corner. I feel you. Don't worry, this is the just relax corner by Zeno. The year 2021. Everyone is finally out of the spirit forest. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds funny. To play the Spider-Man 2 theme. I've never, like, watched any of the Spider-Man movies. Or played the game, so I wouldn't know. Oh, guys, how is he going to recruit Ira? That should be fun to watch. Should it? I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, right now... It's just gonna be me and you guys for, like... 10, 20 minutes, maybe I'll start chapter one a little bit and then stop. Or maybe I'll just end the stream here because it's been a good three hours. Almost. But for now, I'm just going to sit here and chat like an idiot.
<laughs> Year 2035, we're finally starting the last chapter. Oh gosh, should we tell him now? Oh dear, I could tell him. Something wrong. Zeno, do you want to suffer trying to recruit Mint the, ob the obligatory Myrmidon? Well, if it's like, if if she's, or he or she, I'm not sure what that is. If they're like, um, Stefan tier good, then yeah. But uh, if it's that bad, probably not. I'll probably just stick with what I have, honestly. But they could be really cool, and I do really like Myrmidon, so maybe. Is the special edition Echoes sold out in the U.S.? I don't know. I ordered mine this morning on Amazon, and they're out now on Amazon. And at GameStop or EB Games or whatever your local games retailer is, they're most likely out there too. You do have a chance if you go down there. What, what I recommend doing is calling down to the store and asking them about it. Because sometimes in store they don't keep count, so you can order more in store than you should be able to. You can use all your units. Yeah, that is that mm, that is a good point once again. <clears throat> I love this music. Yeah, this song is uh from Awakening. I think a Yeah, it's just a mix of Awakening music. Oh. So, out of my first uh Prologue with genealogy. What do I think? What is there to think? I don't know. I like a lot of things. I like having so many units on the field at once. In a way, I like how long a chapter takes, but in a way, I don't. Because it... Like, I... Uh, how do I say it? It's, it's kind of taxing. They should have just, like, split it up into two different maps or something. To be honest, a lot of people don't like that. I like it. <clears throat> Sigurd, I find, falls off by chapter two. I've heard you can practically solo the game with Sigurd. I could be wrong. Oh, good lord. Hmm. Will I ever play the Game Boy Advance FEs? Good question. Um, probably not on the channel, honestly. Uh, what I seek to do is I seek to grow, but also play games I like. And I like a good mixture of that. The problem with playing GBA games is there's been a billion gazillion playthroughs of them. And honestly, there's not a lot of them that I'd want to go through again. I just finished FE8 again for like the third time. I've beaten FE7 in both modes, like, twice. FE6 I've only played once. Uh, I'm not the type of person to play the same game over and over again. So, um... Yeah. Probably not. That's just how things are. That's the way I am. That's why I was pleasantly surprised when, um... Fates had me coming back to it over and over and over again because I found the gameplay so fun, but the rest of the game just bleh. Then play hacks like Last Promise. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that recommended. You want to try Tear Ring Saga? I don't know what that is. What's my favorite class in any FE game? Uh, probably just Swordmaster and all of them or Myrmidon. I, I like I appreciate the class that goes after one thing and just trains in it super hard. Next to that is bow knight, just because I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of bows, but something about a knight that has a bow and a sword on a horse, even if most of them are very crappy, is appealing to me. Will I play Shadow Dragon again? Probably not. <laughs> again, would you play a ROM hack of FE seven? Uh I don't know, maybe someday. If I do ever play Go Back to a GBA game or a hack, it's going to be in a stream like this. 
I would highly recommend Gas Station's hack, The Staff of Ages. I have seen gameplay of that before. It looks neat. And, um... Maybe. As I said, though, it would be in a stream like this, not on the main channel. I try to keep more relevant things on the main channel, and that's why I'm playing, like, a six- or eight-year-old <laughs> Fire Emblem game. But, um... Yeah, that's why... I don't know. Just what I want to do. True. Yeah, Bonites are aesthetically pleasing. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Oh, no, you're right. A gas hack is Bloodline, not Staff of Ages. That's the one with the guy in the dual swords and the dog, isn't it? With, like, the bird people. And the underwater levels. Yeah, it looks neat. Someday, probably. I don't understand why uh, Fire Emblem doesn't have a dual-wielding lord yet. It's kind of weird. Figured they would have, like, used that idea by now. Instead of just taking Korn and being like, This he can turn into a dragon, isn't that cool? And I'm like, no, not really. It's like, but the kids love the dragons. Are you saying you don't like the dragon? I'm like, no. Not really. Well, I make a shit post. I never shit post, honestly. I don't see much of a point to it. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> I've never been, like, a meme -y type person. I, re I post funny pictures, I find, but, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm weird like that. Who's your favorite character in Radiant Dawn, New or Returning? God, that's hard. There's too many. There's too many. Oh, boy. Um, I really did like Stefan until I did his support with Soren, where he had this weird, uh, like, racist tirade he went on. Like, why, dude? Why even? And he's like, you'll never be accepted. And then Ike's like, my husband, oh, Ike accepts me. And so, I, I don't know, I like him still, it's just I don't like him as much. Um, I really do like Har, yeah, but the thing is I don't really like Wyvern Riders even that much either. Oh, that's a hard one. There's a lot of characters I like. Ugh. That is hard. I, I probably would end up saying Har, though. He's cool. <clears throat> People who ride dragons are way cooler than dragons. Everyone knows that. So here's the thing I'll probably repeat about Fire Emblem over and over again is... I don't like dragons at all. I think they're the most unoriginal things to ever exist at this point. And the fact that Fire Emblem keeps reusing them and using them and using them and using them as final bosses over and over again... That really just... I, I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me. That's why I'm hoping Radiance Dawn's bo final boss won't be a dragon. I mean, Ashnard riding a dragon was okay. Especially since that dragon was apparently a Lagoos of some kind. Um, but for the most part, yeah. Oh, this is a nice little relaxation time between, uh, between parts, I guess I should say. My biggest complaint with Corin was that his dragon abilities had almost no plot relevance after you get the dragon stone. Yeah, I heard that, um... Isn't FE2's final boss like a giant slime monster? <laughs> My biggest complaint with Corin, yeah. <clears throat> the thing is, I just wasn't too psyched about it, like... That... That is... That seems like it's... How do I say it? That... Like, the dragon thing. I have a friend who loves dragons and is totally into that. It just doesn't appeal to me. I feel like they should have given Corrin something different. Because aside from a terrible personality, moral choices and morals that don't make sense, and the Yato, there's nothing really stand out about him. Aside from the fact that he's a dragon. 
It's a zombie dragon, Zeno. No one would see it coming. You don't have to worry about RD endgame boss, but in my opinion, the third to last boss is the hardest. Huh. That's FE2's final... Wait, that thing is supposed to be a dragon? What? <laughs> it's probably just because it's age, but I didn't... I wouldn't think that FE2's final boss is supposed to be a dragon. I would never have guessed that. That's hilarious, kind of. Corrin is in Smash, while Krom is not. That's very true. <clears throat> Who do I think is the hardest boss in all of FE? I don't know. I Hardest bosses, I can't really say, because a lot of the time, bosses slip my memory, honestly. There's just something that doesn't hit me well. But if I had to say the the chapter in Fire Emblem I had the most difficulty with, um, it was probably F, F from Hard Mode Chapter 11. And I know everyone says, Sacred Stones is easy. But trying to get through that Chapter 11 with every single unit on your ship and not just using a Dusel and Ephraim is hell. It is absolute hell, in my opinion. Oh, you think that question was directed at us? Oh, okay then. Well, now you know my answer, at least. <laughs> Krom gets to be in JoJo dub instead. One thing I am kind of wondering about, um... Oh, what's my opinion of Fire Emblem Warriors game coming out? I don't like Warriors games, or like Dynasty Warriors, or anything. So, um... Uh, how do I say this? I don't like Dynasty Warriors or any other Warriors game, so it's obviously made me not excited for Fire Emblem Warriors. I was honestly more excited for Fire Emblem Heroes than I was Warriors, just because I find Warriors gameplay to be very unfun and repetitive. If I could get a remake of any FE game, which would it be? Um, honestly, I haven't even finished it yet, but I'd say 4. 4 is by far one of the most unique games in the series, just from this first prologue. I can tell. And, uh, that'd be cool. If it was one that I've actually played, it would probably be 8. Because, until I finish 4, and make my judgment on that, uh, 8 is my favorite. Have I ever watched Mobile Suit Gundam? I have watched Mobile Suit Gundam, Gundam Zeta, Double Zeta, Charis Counterattack, uh, Unicorn, and Iron Blooded Orphans, and War in the Pocket. So yeah, I've watched my fair share over the years. This is not all like in one binge. I watched this stuff over a long time. Uh, speaking of heroes, have you checked it out yet? Uh, I have. I have played it quite a fair bit, and I can honestly say that my RNG is terrible. I have 70 to 80-something characters, and I have two five-star units. One being Azura, and one being um, George, the archer. I, I've never actually played his game, so... But uh, my opinion... I I have a very bad opinion of it. As a mobile game, it succeeds beyond limits. As a mobile game, it is great. It is fair. But the problem with me is I just want to play things and achieve more. 
and it really holds you back because it does hold on to those mobile game tendencies. So when I want to go in and I want to play more of Effie Heroes, I just can't because there's nothing to benefit. I can't gain any more orbs for more summons. I have to wait. I hate that. Oh, George is from Shadow Dragon. Huh. Well, he's doing very good on my team. I can say that. I can say that for sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of upset. I've been watching... Uh, well, I haven't really been, like, keeping up watching. But I watched Gas pull out, like, three five stars in one episode. And I was just staring at him like, what? How? How? I have like 80-something characters and you have two Takumis. What in the world? How are you doing this? Oh man, this is nice. Um, I will probably keep talking for around 15 more minutes. And then I will end the stream on a good note of I have finished the prologue. <laughs> George is my favorite Archi Archinia? Is that the era of Shadow Dragon? Or the where it takes place? Archinia? Sell them for feathers. I have 40... I have over 40,000 feathers right now. So... The only thing I don't have is the badges to promote the units. And I also don't want to... I also don't have the units I or know what units I want to promote. My current team setup is 5 star Azura, 4 star Marth, 4 star Cordelia, and 5 star George. Sometimes I switch out um, Marth for uh, Salif or Fear. Or Fear. I think her name is Fur, like F I R. Um, and sometimes I'll switch out. Azra for Baraka or a, what's her name? Celsia? I can't remember. Celica? No, I don't think it's the same. I don't remember. All I know is I have a very decisive lack of decent green units <laughs> in that game. Especially Axe users. Baraka was working okay for a while, but um... You made the math that you get from the start of the game to five stars. I applaud you, good sir. I like Matthew. I'd have to say my favorite thief is Colm. Uh, I don't know. I just like something about Colm. Uh, Matthew's a close second. So this is also pretty cool. Uh, I'm not trying to say... Oh, Cecilia. Yeah, that one. No, Matthew is better. I will fight you on the side of the street. Not really. I don't like fighting my subscribers. That does not do good for... Retention. <laughs> if I well, actually no, it might do very well. If I just if I beat up all of my subscribers but make sure they don't know it's me, I could possibly have the highest retention because they're all in the hospital and they have nothing to do but watch my videos. It's the perfect scheme. <laughs> Not really. I would never do that. Who's my least favorite character in Fire Emblem? Uh, Corin. <laughs> But if you want to ignore Corrin, which I think is too, too obvious. Hmm, what do I have to say? Oh boy, that's a hard one. I, I, I like characters too easily. It would probably be... 
a Fates character. Honestly. Hmm. I'm trying to think. A character I don't like at all. That's hard. That's really hard. Uh, I'm really tempted, and I mean really tempted, to say, uh, Camilla? I actually like how scumbaggy Makalov is, to be honest. I'm sorry, but I actually kind of like Makalov. You can hate me for that. Tharja, I don't think is so bad, honestly. Um, I don't think she's a bad character. I do like Henry better. I've never really hated her. Characters that specifically annoy me in some way. I know Camilla's on the top of that list. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Makalov does show up in the next uh, Radiant Dawn episode. So... Hi, Jimmy. You did kind of miss it, but right now we're just relaxing and talking for a bit. <laughs> the The prologue took me over an hour, so that happens. I hate the fact that I can't find a beautiful statue of Sigurd or Niles to have, but I can find a $200 figure of Tharja bending over a stack of books. Like, come on. I want, like, real characters. I'm not calling her, like, a fake character or anything, but, um... I don't know. Just something about... her just is offsetting. Perry? Ugh. I mean, I, I'm probably in the wrong about this, and people are going to hate me for it, but Perry's design, I don't mind, oddly enough. She stands out, and I think that's something that I really enjoy, and that's something that actually off puts me of characters, is because, like, ha like, there, how do I say this? There are characters like Oscar, for example, who don't stand out whatsoever. They don't stand out at all. And it's so easy to pass them. Well, as where Perry has like this vibrant cotton candy hair that looks like you could take a bite out of it. Her character is kind of flat, I admit, and she's she has too many flaws to make up for. Yeah. Oh, people don't hate her design that much? I know people hate her personality a lot. I think that's kind of, like, picky. I, I don't know. It's not picky. Like, you're entitled to your own opinion. I've just never had a character that I hate so much. I think I didn't like Xander that much, honestly. And that's why I was going to make that video. And then Gast made the video for me. So thank you, Gast. Not that you'll ever see this, because literally... I don't, like, the funny thing is, a big part of YouTube is networking and finding out who your YouTube brethren are. But there's no one like me, honestly. I get compared a lot of the time to Mangs just because I play Fire Emblem, but we are completely, like, opposite in personality. One person I do get compared to a lot is someone named Nico B, who actually has given me some advice after people recommended me to him, because they're like, dude, you sound exactly like Nico B. And I was like, what? Who is what's in the cob, and then that happens, so whatever. Niles is still Fate's Bay. I don't I there's so much about Niles that I just love, from his design to just how he acts and doesn't trust anyone and puts them through these little trials to figure out their personality and worth as a person. I just like him so much. I don't know why.
Yeah, I'm I'm on the literal opposite spectrum of Mangs. I'm a very um how do I say it? I am Hmm. I'm very introverted and quiet and have this weird idea and moral compass of what mannerisms are correct. Miles is only bay if you have my sexuality. Um, actually, my like of Niles has nothing to do with he's gay, not that that would change anything anyway. But, um, I didn't even know until I looked and I thought the game was bugged because I had an S support with Niles. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna bug the game super hard. Do 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 Felicia is the best. I know originally a lot of people hated Felicia's voice. And I don't know what's up with that. I think her voice is one of the most charming voices in the world. I know We've Got Trouble became a meme. But, uh, I still like it. <laughs> Wait, Niles tries to naked oil wrestle Corin. <laughs> That's hilarious. Niles Nendroid. No, we need full-scale figures. Full-scale Niles figures. I don't care... How much money it takes. That is the step that God wants us to go into. That is the next step. He was like, alright, you guys survive my flood. You survive my plagues. Next, can you survive the drought of full-scale Niles figures? That's the only way. <laughs> We've got trouble. Unfortunately, people have bad taste. <laughs> Look for Fire Emblem trading figures on Amazon. Oh yeah, I forgot. They do have this uh, weird set of figures for... Oh my god. Oh my god, there are FE4 figures. It costs like $60, but there are FE4 figures. Um, I see Sigurd. I have no idea who the rest of these people are. That guy kind of looks like Noish, but I don't think he is. His hair looks different. Oh my god, that's, that's on the buy list. That is on the buy list. <laughs> Adding to wish list right now. The song is so sad. Oh, I almost missed your comments. Um, uh, you asked if buying a 3DS for the Fire Emblem games is worth it. Um, in my opinion, I would never buy a console just for two games. But I highly recommend, if you are a Fire Emblem fan, Awakening has a lot of good characters. I've, I've, I never finished it. Um, surprisingly for people calling it the easiest, Awakening was my first Fire Emblem game. And when I went to play it... I turned it on hard, uh, classic, like everyone said, and I died over and over again and got frustrated and quit. <laughs> but I plan to play through it sometime, so... Awakening, I can't say for the gameplay, because at the end, your units become kind of broken. If you, Unless you don't grind, then it makes a lot more fun, so... In the end, I'd say yes. 
uh, awakening for an overall decent experience and fates for the gameplay. Any interest in uh, the Fire Emblem trading card game? I actually have two boxes I purchased. I have one box which was Fates characters, and I think it was exclusively Fates characters. And I have another box that was Awakening and Shadow Dragon characters. I haven't gotten any super rare cards. I think the rarest one I got was like a Subaki super gold or whatever. Sacred Stones... Isn't Sacred Stones uh, considered the easiest? Depends on what difficulty you play it on. Because... As I was playing on Sacred Stones again, Chapter 11, Ephraim Hard Mode, that map is BS if you ask me. But uh, there are some very hard chapters in there if you play with Hard Mode, but it's still not as hard as like FE7 or 6 by far. Sacred Stones is the most forgiving. Yeah, I'll say that. Sacred Stones is all my favorite characters, though. Like, that game has most of my favorite characters for each class in Fire Emblem. It also has my favorite character in all of Fire Emblem. Oh man, this music is so sad. Sacred Stones does have the best villain. It has my favorite villain too. Oh my goodness, I didn't think about that. Sacred Stones is my favorite everything. Yeah, uh, Sacred Stones has my favorite villain. Um, Valter, I think his name was. He is so off-putting. His sprite is so well done. I just... There's something about his face and his personality that makes him my favorite Fire Emblem villain, in my opinion. He's just such a douche, and I love it. <laughs> oh. My favorite character in all of Fire Emblem is easily Marissa with no competition. There is not a single character that even comes close. To, even Niles. Even Niles and Oscar and... Uh, Marissa is leagues above all of them, in my opinion. Just because I can identify with her personally and how she acts. I see so much of myself in that character. And her design and how she has a curved sword. There's so much to it that I love about her. I have played through enough to get Leon. The reason I don't like Leon so much is because, um, how do I say it? I don't like characters that try, or villains that try to make me feel bad for them. I think that is one of the cheapest things in writing, and, I mean, um, how do I say it? Marissa got your heart, but Niles will get your D. Um, how do I say it? Because the thing is, Leon is a character that they try to make you seem, like, sad for. And they do an excellent job of that, and he's an amazing character. But, uh... I don't know, there's something about just batshit insane characters with no redeeming features that I love. That's why I also love, like, Kira over Funny Valentine. I know that that's going to resonate with very few of you. That's why I also love Junko from Danganronpa. She's one of the best examples of that writing I've ever seen. 
the fact that she is so evil over just loving the feeling of doing terrible things. Like, she loves self-loathing and despair so much that... I, I probably just spoiled Danganronpa for some of you, but it's it's a forever old game, so I apologize if I have. But, um... She is just a very dark character. Have I seen the Danganronpa anime? I have. I have watched the original anime. One, two, and uh, the th three. I am a huge fan, and I want to make content on it, but three's a while away, and I'll just have to do some character analysis type stuff for Danganronpa. There's an amazing channel for that kind of stuff. Uh, her name is Weeby News. She's amazing. Watch her content if you want to know things about Danganronpa. Yeah, that was the new one I was talking about. Danganronpa 3. Um, it was like Fall of Hope's Peak Academy or whatever. It was really good. Oh, you got spoiled on Danganronpa V3. I have been dodging spoilers like crazy, so I feel bad for you, man. I really do. I've been lucky enough to not be spoiled about a single thing aside from one of the people's talents in the story, and that's it. So... Yeah, one thing I do really love about, uh, what's his face? I was just talking about him. How am I forgetting his name? How's it escaping my mind? I just realized this is playing Zelda music, and I don't want to get, like, a copyright claim. Because, oddly enough, YouTube does not care about, um, Fire Emblem music. It never has, because Nintendo doesn't own it, so... They've always been very lenient as to what files a copyright strike and Fire Emblem music has always been one of those uh types of tracks that hasn't What did I think of Fire Emblem 7's story? Um, <clears throat> funny story about Fire Emblem 7 is that... Uh, how do I say it? When I first played FE7... Or, as I said, the first game, Fire Emblem game I played was Awakening. I was one of those Awakening noobs, and as I said, I quit because I thought it was too hard. The only reason I ever got back to playing Fire Emblem was because I accidentally downloaded a Fire Emblem 7 ROM when I was trying to download, like, a Final Fantasy 5 or 4 thing? Was it... It was it was a Final Fantasy for the GBA, anyways. And I was trying to download that, and I accidentally booted up Fire Emblem 7. I'm like, what the hell is this? I hate this series. And I played it, and then Lynn showed up, and I saw her crit animation, and I, I guessed, and I said, okay, it, it might be okay. I played like five more chapters, and I absolutely fell in love. It's funny that Awakening pushed me away from the series, but Fire Emblem 7 brought me in. It's such a weird thing. Once again, 7 still isn't my favorite, though. 8 is my favorite, but 7 is really good. And I think all around, one of the most balanced games in the series, as far as story, music, gameplay, and art.
I just find it hilarious that the game that's supposed to bring new players in and save the series is the one that pushed me away. A lot of the Fire Emblem stories in general never, um... They never really impress me in any way. FE4 is really starting to with how many houses and the politics, and that's the kind of stuff I love. But 6 through 14 never even really impressed me. I'm impressed with Path of Radiance's world building ability. That's amazing. It has an amazing ability to build a world that I can identify and look on a map and see everything I love. But anyways, I think I'm, gonna end the, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you all for joining me and watching. It's amazing. Thank you very much. Um, I highly doubt if any of you did, but hold on. Let me look at something. I just need to make sure. I need to make absolutely sure I didn't just skip someone who did this. If anyone did. It appears that no one has done any super chat things, which I'm kind of glad about because that would have meant that I missed it. And I'm, I'm happy about that. But on the on the uh, bright notes, hopefully the 3DS capture card distributor will have the capture card done by the time Shadows of Valencia come out because I will be able to afford it now, and I will order it from them, and hopefully it'll come in time to play that game. Second, Radiant Dawn will be up tomorrow morning, which is like I don't know, I'd say ten hours from now for most of you. And third, um. The new series is going to start pretty soon. As soon as near, I get, I finish near Automata's ending A. The new series is going to start pretty soon. It's going to be pretty familiar to a lot of you, especially if you liked uh, Apollo Justice. So thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Right now.